In this video, you will learn how to create an application with two pages and how to navigate between them. First, we will create a new application by clicking on File, select Other, and then Application Project. Next, we provide the application name and select SAP.M Library. It is the widely used UI5 library. Let's name our project Navigation Example. The controls we are going to use are from this library. Click on Next. In the Create a new view tab, give the view name View1 and select a type. The application creates a view file for us with the name View1. Now we have index.html, a controller, and a view in JavaScript format. Go to the view page where you will find that a page control has already been created. In the title section, change the title property of the page control from title to first page. In the content section of the page control, create a new button. Type navigate to next page in the text property of the button. This means that we are asking the application to create a button with navigate to next page as its display text. Go to index.html. There is a Run button at the top. Click on the Run button and select Web App Preview. You can see the page with the button we just created in the output. Right-click on the subfolder on the left and select New, Other, then select View and click Next. Provide a view name for this second view file and select a type. Otherwise, it will be JavaScript by default. A new view with its respective controller will be created. Go to the index.html file and declare the instance for the second view. Change the names accordingly, providing new names for the new attributes. Once the new page declaration is ready, we can append the second page, page 2, to our application app. Now, go to the second view, View 2. In the Page Control area, change the title of the page from Title to Second Page. Go to the first view page, View 1. Assign a press event to the button Navigate to Next Page that we created previously. This event is triggered when a user clicks on the button that says Navigate to Next Page. Whatever task we assign under the press event will be executed by the application. In this case, we are asking the application to call a function and navigate forward when a user clicks this button. Now, go to the controller file for the first view, view1.controller, and define the function for navigating to the other page. The app is navigated to page 1 whenever this function is called. Go to index.html file and click on Run. Click on the button and you can see that our press event works perfectly and the app successfully took us to the second page. Now, go to the second view file, view2. Every UI5 page control has a built-in navigation button. Let's now enable the navigation button to make it visible. In order to do so, we need to set the Show Navigation button property to True. The Navigation button type property is used to set the display of the button with an icon instead of text. Here, Back indicates that the button should have a left arrow on it. The Navigation button press property here again triggers a press event and performs the usual function calling as we did previously. In this case, we are calling a function called Navigate Back. The Navigation Button Press event gets triggered when the Navigation button is pressed. So the function defined for this event will be called from the controller. In this case, let us define the function Navigate Back in the controller file. Go to the controller file for the second view and define the backward navigation function. Assign the task that has to be executed upon calling this function. 
In our case, it is navigating to the previous page that we came from. Go to index.html and click Run to check the output. Here we can see that the press event on both buttons works as we intended it to, and now we are able to successfully navigate between the different pages of our application.